The launch of AlbertaSat will represent the first ever made in Alberta satellite. The first time that a, a spacecraft has been built here in the province of Alberta by anybody. We are going to be one of the first Canadian University student teams to put a Cube satellite into space. I think there's nothing that can be compared to the excitement of being involved with a project that's actually going to put an experiment and operate it in space. The AlbertaSat project is a student-led initiative here at the University of Alberta. We're building what's called a cube satellite. And it's a universal standard where one cube is 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters. And we've decided to take three of them and put them together. So it's about the size of a loaf of bread. We actually are building a piece of hardware that will actually flow into space and is supposed to deliver us data that is valuable for us to understand the interaction between the sun and the earth and all the other satellites that are flying. The primary purpose of the satellite is to study the effects of interactions between the energy from the sun and the earth's magnetic field and that the region surrounding the earth at around 400 kilometers in altitude and lower. So we're using a sensor that was developed and built here at the University of Alberta in the Department of Physics. Say an event such as a solar storm or a coronal mass ejection, a very large one, came and interacted with the Earth. With today's infrastructure, today's dependence on electronics and the electrical grid, uh, what would be the impact? And they found that the impact in the United States would be on the order of one to two trillion dollars and up to 10 years to recover from. Low Earth orbit and that region of space, because it's poorly understood, studying it can give us insight into how we can perhaps better design equipment on the ground or ways that we can mitigate the effects of a large coronal mass ejection. This is one additional example, first in our province, and we hope not to be the last, to be the beginning of our trajectory that many students that come to our programs can see themselves being involved in development for space and actually building uh, space hardware. The exploration of space is entering a new era right now. And there are opportunities that are coming as part of the new space race. And right here at the University of Alberta, we, uh, through the AlbertaSat project, are providing hands-on experience for students to literally send their designs and their work to space, a stepping stone, if you will, to a future career in the new space industry.